Hello there, Net Neighbor. JP here. Welcome to another episode of Odd Offerings. Today we're going to be delving into some Kickstarter curiosities. So let's get to it. Project K by Andrea. Andre. Eichziger. Well, I'm not German or whatever he is. Now, I can tell from the name he's not likely to speak the language, which you might assume in my ugly American arrogance, I mean English. I do, but more fundamentally, Mr. Eckziger doesn't speak the language of making sense in this project. His almost four-minute video for Kickstarter starts with some loser getting out of bed, begrudgingly opening his eyes, getting coffee and the usual all with an annoying red video overlay ball bouncing around him. I, it's, it's just like there. It's like a puppy, only it's a red ball, and he, he ignores it. Later, it switches to different colored balls on the public transportation that he's taking, bouncing around on other people. Then it goes to a park. There's just this huge swarm of, of these balls of different colors just assaulting dozens of people. All the while, this... This Ake Zeiger, Andrea, whatever. He drones on about connectivity and socialization and devices. Still don't know what this is. To create a more connected world, we must loose. I know English is not his first language, but the loose loose thing is it's just one of it's one of my pet peeves. But the uh, it's, I don't know. It's just to create more a more con connected world, we must l lose our prejudices, be open and take initiative. Then all the individual colors can shine. That's one of the quotes from his Kickstarter, which is pretty long and uses flowery words and says nothing. Like the leaves on every tree except for the dead one. He, he uh, really didn't need to take care of that loose end, and we kind of know what he's talking about living trees you know it's like you don't usually include dead trees when you're talking about trees so anyway eventually he tells us that uh, he's well he tells us what the hell he's talking about basically it's some device or phone app or something a game with colored balls somehow this relates to connectivity and losing prejudices or is it loosing and colors shining but it will be free so I guess a bunch of people, I guess you, I don't know. I, do I commend him on that, that it's going to be free, I guess? kind of feel like this project is maybe not something that's, that's vitally needed by anyone, anywhere. It's an app that lets strangers, I guess, nearby you all have their own colored balls and you play some internet app. I think that Pong, Pong already exists, so... This is probably not all that important in the grand scheme of things. Apparently, I'm not alone in this feeling, as he has a whopping two backers, no doubt himself and a friend, or even a second account, with a total pledge of $76.96. Of the $43,919 goal, round up to 44000 $44,000 44, for a colored ball app. For a phone app that lets you control a colored dot and allegedly somehow interact with others presumably nearby you and their colored dots. With 11 days to go, it looks like these people are not yet ready to loose our prejudices, create a more connected version of the world, and let all the individual colors shine. Shame on you Kickstarter backers or non-backers. Shame on you. Way to go, jerks. Next up, we have Romantic Playing Cards, printed by the MPC, by Timothy Krimmer. Collectible Romantic, why is the R capitalized? Designer Deck of Cards, Fantasy, High Quality, Made in USA. That's the starting quote there. So everybody likes romance, right? Guys, gals, everything else, everybody. We all like art, right? Beautiful, fine art, deep, rich colors. Naked women, we all like naked women too, of course, right? So guys, on your next date, forget the old cliché of flowers. Give your lucky, lovely lady a deck of playing cards with naked women. 
The date is assured to go extra smooth once she gets her very own deck of erotically illustrated cards of her own sex. And ladies, expect, nay, demand this romantic gesture. Great for anniversaries, too. But seriously, romance is a thing that two people or more, I'm not judging, can appreciate and share. So you'd think there would be depictions of men and women in front, you know, in actual romantic situations. Like, you know, like a field of flowers or Paris or at a fair or... You know, in, even in the in the desert where Natalie Portman and uh, Anakin hung out, even though sand got everywhere. But no, just women. Dark elves, sorceresses, fairies, whatever else. Okay, I lie. There is one guy as the Dark Joker. So credit where it's due, I guess. He did have one man in there. On the plus side, it is good artwork. It is hand-drawn. Certainly not for every card created but the original prints that are then used for each deck, which makes me think, does, doesn't that make it just like any other art? I, any art you sell is going to be a print, pretty much, from your original. You're not selling your original unless you sell the art itself. So, what makes this different again? What makes this special and hand-drawn? All art's hand-drawn, right, at some point? Anyway, there's texture, raised numbering on the face, and maybe the backs of the cards. Definitely high quality material for sure. And for only $15 a deck plus $6 shipping, that's pretty reasonable. And you can get a brick of decks for $120. You know, for when you want to buy a brick of decks of cards with naked women on them because so many people you know want a deck of naked women... I guess you could give them away as some sort of door prizes or artistic, I don't know. I, I don't know. I cannot think of a reason to have a deck of cards with naked women on them for any reason. So I'm just not very imaginative. At the time of this writing, the project had $5,000 of its $5,500 goal with 15 days to go. So it's a good bet, pardon the pun, for cards, you see what I did there, that it will make it. So, kudos, I guess, for MPC, the MakePlainCards.com guy here. Interestingly, in the comments section, a lady named Tiffany says she loves the art, but would like to know if they make decks that aren't pornographic. No, no, the designers protest. This is light erotica. Tiffany clarifies her question, basically saying, What I mean is, can I get a deck of this wonderful artwork I could show around to family and co-workers and and friends and stuff at the water cooler without them saying, Oh, I, I didn't know you were into naked women, Tiffany. They don't really answer saying alternative art didn't work out well and it blurred or, or I don't know, pooled or something. At first, I thought the creator was being kind of elitist and dismissive, and I thought, what a jerk. And then I realized Tiffany, who backed this project already, is asking a Kickstarter that is one thing, specifically about images of naked women on cards to produce a thing that is not this product for this Kickstarter. Tiffany, you ignorant slut. Well, that's, uh, that's going to do it for this, for this episode. I thank you for your time, and if you have any suggestions or questions or anything else, please leave a comment below, and please don't forget to like, share, favorite, subscribe, and all that other stuff. I would really appreciate it. Any sort of good interaction or support to the to my uh, channel helps a lot. And lets me know there's people enjoying some of this stuff. So, thanks a lot.